guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is brianna if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're a subscriber thank you so much for coming back despite that really energetic intro i'm actually quite sad we are currently in kotoka international airport and we are heading back home from ghana currently waiting on my flight i've been here for a few hours um and now my flight's about to board in like 10 15 minutes so last last few minutes that i'm going to be in this country yeah ghana is always home and ghana is always extremely fun i get to see all of my family members i get to do my hair 365 times i get to eat all of my favorite foods and like not have to make it personally and i can just buy it off the street at home food is outside food in ghana this was a much more relaxing Ghana trip. Um, we didn't do as much as previous Ghana's. Like when my family goes, we usually like go to resorts and we go out more. We just like do more general things. This Ghana was a lot more chill and I really appreciate it honestly because I was trying to sleep and I did sleep. <laughs> I slept, I avoided the cold winter and I ate all my favorite foods and it was an amazing trip to me and I'm so sad it's over. I can't drink Calico anymore. I can't eat cocoa. I can't eat Amutsuani and Katsu. Anyways, we have to go back. We have school, guys. <laughs> we have school. Um, so we have to go back, unfortunately. So currently, like I said, I'm in Kutuka International Airport. My flight's about to board. When I flew here, um, the flight from Boston to London was my first like flight like by myself, not knowing anybody, just minding my business and pushing along. This time going around, instead of like meeting my family in London, so it was like a half flight by myself, it's going to be a full flight by myself. No friends, no family, no nothing. It's me and a Mark Jacobs tote bag against the world. But I'm not like, I'm not really stressed about it at all. I feel like the hardest part was going through TSA in Ghana, right? And so as soon as I get through London Heathrow Airport and then I go to Boston, like Boston my hood. Um, so it's fine. Like I'm gonna be perfectly fine. I'm not stressed about it at all. Can't wait to have all of my things in one place again. It's one thing I don't like about traveling. I feel like all my things are scattered. It's like I need something. It's like dang, I forgot in the States or dang, like this would have been a thing in the States. Like my edge control like I literally forgot it there that's why I literally when they were making this hair I said braid all the edges braid all the edges because we can't like I said braid all the edges and the forehead is foreheading but the hairstyle is eating like I've been wanting to be French girl for a minute and I was like I'm in Ghana I'm coming back might as well I love this hairstyle this is, like might be my favorite hairstyle ever because like the French girls are eating I've never gotten French girls before but I was like I'm in Ghana like might as well and I absolutely love it I love the colors my first time ever doing ginger um, braids I've done ginger hair I did it for my 18th birthday but I've never done ginger braids before and I absolutely love it like <laughs> That is my flight. I'll see you guys on the plane. Hey, very good evening to everyone. My name is Gonzalo Christo, the flight manager on board this flight to London Heathrow. And it is my pleasure to welcome you all on board today. Hey y'all, so it is currently 10.07. Um, I haven't talked to y'all in a while because a lot of things were happening. <laughs> I was just trying to figure them out. Um, we landed very early in the morning here. We landed at, uh, I believe, like 5.20 in the morning. And um, I've really just been shuffling around gates, going through TSA and stuff like that, and just doing a few things and work that I had to do on my computer, which is why I had not spoken to you before, but I'm speaking to you now, so it's all good. <laughs> So our flight from London to Boston is at 11.25, currently it's 10-ish 07. We're going to be boarding um, an hour before in like about 15 minutes and then we're going to be back home, you know, school and everything. 
so excited. I'm already feeling how cold it is, honestly. Um, my body really needs to readjust. When we were in Ghana, I thought, oh my god, it's too hot. I can't wait to get back into the States. I was wrong. Take me back. <laughs> Take me back. As soon as we got off of the flight from Accra to London, as soon as like you got out of the flight into that little tunnel canal thing that they have before you get into the airport, I felt I felt the wind, I felt the pressure, I felt the temperature. It was not okay. It's not okay. I I recant what I said before. I take me back, please. Take me back. Now I'm playing. We have school. We have school. So like I we we have to go. We have to, we have to go. <laughs> So we are going to be leaving here at 11.25, but we get to Boston by 2 p.m. And that's because of like the time differences, because the, the flight is 6 hours and 35 minutes. I remember from the first time we came here, it's exactly 6 hours and 35 minutes, um, depending on tailwind, might be faster or slower. We're currently just waiting to start boarding um, our flight, and pretty soon we're going to be back in the States. Yay. On behalf of British Airways and our One World and Code Share partners, we are delighted to welcome you to Flight 213 to Boston. We will be sharing boarding information shortly and look forward to welcoming you on board. So as you guys can see, our plane has safely landed back in Boston, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, I got really busy um, after landing, figuring out my bagging and everything, so I was not able to make a like face-to-camera outro. I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, this was a really great experience, and I'm so glad that I was able to record it and share it with all of you. This is my first, you know, flight alone, as I've mentioned multiple times. And like I said, it's just it was a really like great experience, and it was exciting for me. I hope for more of these in the future. But as I always say, and as I always mean, 
I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!